I received a question from somebody, a subscriber, who wants to know how to deal with a copycat. So I'm gonna go over that in this particular video, how to deal with a copycat. Now, a lot of us know what a copycat is. It's somebody who copies exactly what you're doing, a copycat. You can go buy a blue hat with a certain emblem on the hat. It could be a fitted hat. Or you could buy a piece of clothing, a jacket, a shirt, pair of pants, uh, anything. You have a certain style and somebody will copy that style, will duplicate that ex same exact style and claim it as theirs, as their style. Even though you created that style, just like a copy machine. You know how when you put a piece of paper on top of the copy machine, and it could be a resume and then and, and you print that resume out and it copies exactly or scans that resume into a duplicate. It's exa that's exactly what a copycat is. They take what you do and, and duplicate it and claim it as, as theirs. And it don't have to be a certain style you use. It can be anything. You can write a book. For example, somebody would take that book and write the same exact book word for word and claim it as theirs. And to most people, it might seem irritating. It might seem frustrating and annoying when you have to deal with a copycat. And a lot of these copycats could be close to you. It could be a close friend or a family member, co-worker, or just a stranger that you don't even know. It's just, just a copy exactly what you're doing. Anything that you do, they want to copy it and claim it as theirs so what what you do you take the negative and you just turn it around and turn it into a positive that's how you deal with it just turn a negative into a positive just look at it as you're setting trends you know look at it as a sign of admiration they they may might admire what you're doing or they could envy what you're doing it could go both ways but take the negative and turn it into a positive. If someone copies your style or copies your, your craft and claim it as theirs, take it as you're setting trends. Take it as they're, they're looking up to what you're doing. They're, they're following your lead and you're setting trends. So look at it like that. Look at it as, as a positive. Because if you look at it as, as a negative, as it's annoying, you, you're getting frustrated and irritated about that, then you're just going to drive yourself crazy. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to go about life and just, just be upset all the time because somebody's just copying you. But you got to remember, the one thing that people cannot copy from you or duplicate from you is your certain individuality, your certain uniqueness about you. Now, going back to the examples, you can buy a blue hat with a certain emblem or a piece of clothing or a certain shoe. It's the way you wear that shoe, the way you wear that hat, the way you wear that piece of clothing. It's your individuality and that individuality that you possess, that uniqueness about you. Nobody can copy that. Nobody can duplicate that. That's something you, can, you will always have for you. So look at yourself as a, a trendsetter. Look at yourself as somebody that is a leader in your craft, a leader in your style, a leader in your talents, a leader in, your, in, in what you do. It's nothing wrong with duplicating somebody else's success, but when you copy or duplicate somebody else's success or somebody else's style, put your own spin on it. Put your own twist on it, because if you don't put your own spin on it or put your own twist on that, then you lose your individuality. You lose your uniqueness. Now, all you are is just like a copy machine from like Hewlett Packard. You're just a copy machine. You just all you're doing is you're just taking in and, and, and regurgitating the same thing. And, and you, you lose your uniqueness when you do that. There's nothing to set you apart from that person. You're just duplicating somebody else. You want to set yourself apart from people. Set yourself apart 
and have your own individuality. Put your own twist on things. Or better yet, just create your own style. If you create your own style, you don't have to worry about trying to take or copy or duplicate somebody else because you're already doing something on your own. But see, what it is with a lot of people, people are lazy. People don't want to put forth the work. People don't want to think. People don't want to create. People don't want to take time and use their own uniqueness and their own individuality to their own advantage so they can be doing their own thing. People rather just see what you're doing and, and copy the exact thing you're doing. When you go about life and you have your own style, you build success, you meet people, you do this, you do that, you're out here doing your thing in this world, you're going to run across a copycat. You're going to run across it. That's a given. But like I said before, don't get annoyed. Don't get uh, irritated. Don't get frustrated by the copycat. Take the negative and flip it into a positive. Look at yourself as, okay, yeah, they're, they're following my lead. I'm the trendsetter. I, I, I see that they're, they're admiring me or, or they're envious of me. And I can continue doing my thing because I see people are just following my trends. I'm setting trends. See, turn it into a positive. Just turn it into a positive. You know, you, you can't stop people from copying you. You can't stop people from duplicating your style. But what you can stop and what, what you can control is how you view it. You can't control that. You can take that negative and flip it and turn it into a positive and, and just have a different outlook on it. Look at all successful people in this world. Somebody out there that's just trying to do what they're doing. That's, that's trying to copy them or trying to duplicate them and, and, and don't even have their own twist. They're not even putting their own flavor on it, their own twist or their own style to it. People just regurgitate. Nine times out of ten, if you're uh, separating yourself from the crowd and you have your own style, you're doing your own thing, you have your own twist on things then you're going to run across a copycat because that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a lot of people that don't want to take time and, and develop their own individuality or de develop their own uniqueness about them. They rather copy you. And another thing that people cannot copy from you is you as a human being. Nobody can clone you. Since nobody can clone you, you can take whatever you do and have your own and do your own thing with it. You don't have to worry about somebody copying either your style or your craft or whatever you do in life. You can just do, do it how you feel you want to do it. And, and you don't have to worry about anybody trying to take that from you. Nobody can clone you. Nobody can take your face and, and, and use it and put it on, on their face. It's, it's how you do things. I can have a jacket. I can have a, a, some shoes. I can, I can wear a hat. I can uh, have a certain instrument. And I can do my thing on stage. And somebody has the same hat, same shoes, same jacket, same instrument. It's how I play the instrument. It's, it's, it's me as a person. Me as a human being, uh, nobody can duplicate that. You as a human being, nobody can copy that. Nobody can copy that like a copying machine. You can't clone an individual in their individuality and uniqueness. So people is going to gravitate towards you because of that. And they could see somebody doing the same thing. It, it won't matter because people are drawn to you as an individual. So look at it like that. Flip it and turn it into a positive. People are drawn to you as an individual. Forget everything else. Put all that aside. If, if people copy that, hey, let them copy it. Let them copy it. It don't matter. Just understand that you are your own person. You are your own individual and treasure that. Treasure yourself as a as your own person, as your own fingerprint, 
as your own individual. Nobody can copy that. So just take the negative and turn it around and, and turn your perspective around into a positive.